So, in the Merc Jacket Broadsword matchup here, mainly for anything that pre-stacks, we're going to look to try to get a visual on what the build is, then create distance and pop an Invis Pot to get rid of the stack. See, we pop the Invis Pot here, which creates uh, uh, him having to use Iron Will to keep the stacks up, right? And then we're going to try to poke at him with range distance. We're going to use the Morgana Cape as officially as possible, and then wait till the Merc Jacket pops or the Inferno Shield to pop to instantly mage robe it so he doesn't get too much value. We should be able to just spam him down here. He doesn't have too much. If they pop a res pot, you blink away. You have cleric out to block any combos. You're frost over to chase or create distance and everything should be pretty good there. Now, for the leather frost matchup, you're going to want to uh, put as much pressure as possible as you do uh, have a favorable matchup as long as you correctly space out all of your defensives. Um, you do more damage with your Q spam, so you'll get ahead on DPS. You do also have the mage robe to uh, get rid of their infernal shield if they put it up. And at the end of the day, it's just it's just all about proper use of resolution pot and other other uh, supporting cast abilities there. Not nothing too fancy. It's just it's just an average frost matchup. And you could see we could go back just a little just to just to see. Um, it's 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 about trading right it's about trading and we do more damage than he does because we are in cloth so as long as you're just as long as you're just trading efficiently that's that's going to win you this matchup all right uh we have a few answers for it obviously q1 for sure you always want to blink their first engage and then clerical second there it is um then you're going to start with a Q spam. You want to try to hug a wall, actually, so you don't get bopped. Obviously, um, uh, the wall kind of exploded, I guess. And, yeah, you're just going to want to spam as much as possible here to try to punish. Nothing wrong so far. And then when they have their next engage, usually you just want to dodge out of the way. Uh, thankfully, he missed his first one because he doesn't have any idea what he's doing. But, um, yeah, then, and then just run down with the Q1. He does get another Armor Valor, which is uh, fantastical for sure um yeah and then he just gets the double q there but uh, again that's usually what you want to do in that fight and there's nothing really much you could do um, this kind of fight sums up all spear basically spear is going to have more damage than you it's going to have more health than you and it's just uh, about playing as far away as possible right until until you have a much advantage so here you see we're creating a lot of space poking with the q's dodging the w um, yeah, you look at that. So we baited out an Inferno Shield there. Very, very good. And just take your time. You don't have to engage there. Try to get him on the trap. Trap doesn't pop. Sure, whatever. Uh, now again, we're just playing it very slow. Hit him with 1Q here. We are in tier 6. Not that that really matters too much. But, um, he's gonna hit the run. It, again, all it is is about creating spacing. So we're gonna throw an E here. Frost Nova away. Again, create spacing. Um, again, we're, we're slowly whittling him down now. Again, we don't have too much damage. And if we try to engage here a thousand percent, we lose. If you could see in the top left, he does have more HP than us at the current moment, which is absolutely stellar, stellar game design there. Um, but, uh, again, we're just taking it really slow. Bait out his W. Unfortunately, we do get hit by the Q there. Uh, did miss our E, but again, all about baiting, uh, the, we do get the double purge there remember you do want to save your mage robe for uh getting caught out like that and so that was just a perfect instance of the mage robe in action here now uh again taking it slow e one two q's e one two q's nothing special um we do we do get him trapped here because he's in between mobs if you look if you look here um in the bottom right you can see the map there's there's actually mobs here so now he's standing in between us and the mob so he has to come back at this way or he has to face going to the right and hitting into the mobs and i can almost guarantee he's not going into the mobs so we kind of have our way with him uh, unfortunately we do get hit by the the hitbox there knock him back in there again he only has one way to go he literally only has one way to go and that's towards us so we're going to try to kite out here we uh we do hit the E there, nothing crazy. He does absolutely throw a throw a Q. Um dodge the frick out of that one. Again, create the distance that we need. Create the distance. You saw we get hit one time, we're taking a lot of damage. Just wanna create the distance. We can. I'm gonna run up here. Again, we have we have almost all of our spells up. We could take advantage of them. We could take advantage. 
to get rid of the plant because he could either use that to pre-stack or he could frick us over with it. Again, dodge out of the way, knocked it, uh, uh, frost over him there. Nothing terrible. Again, play it slow. Play it slow. He has Inferno Shield up. Inferno Shield is going to do a lot of damage. There it is. There's the Q. Q into the instant knockback. Again, play it slow. We have nothing up. We have nothing up. If we go in, if we get hit by that, dead. Game's over. We just got to play it slow here. Got to play it slow. Got to play it slow. He uh, underestimates because we had everything up, right? And the reason we do that is because he's locked in the animation, right? He's stunning himself with the Royal Boots, right? And uh, we end up picking up our, our kill in the flat six attire with the E3 overcharge player. Uh, this is, uh, I mean, this is just a casual matchup between the HP stacking blood letter. This, this could go with almost any blood letter. I mean, any HP stacking build. It's, it's almost the same exact matchup here. We are playing with the Guardian Helm. Resolution Pot for sure. You play Resolution Pot into anything that is uh, consistent damage, blood letter, broadsword spear those are where you really want to do it probably guarding helm early here i know that's not really too much in the meta instantly so please please humperdinck purge purge the inferno shield um please humperdinck purge the inferno shield thank you all right that was that was that was a really bad fight but i mean you do what you can do what you can <laughs> do what you can and, and of, of course uh we get the i mean as to be expected as to be expected Blade Frost is one of um, the easiest and the hardest matchups for Frost Staff because um, it kind of it kind of wins it kind of wins in every every aspect, but uh, it is semi punishable. One getting absolutely diddled by the Q one. Oh jeez, you don't have to do them like this. Can we hit a res pot here? Oh sick. I think we win. Nice. All right. Uh, we could actually go back over that fight here. So again, um, this is this is just like any other frost match. The frost matches are all about just outvaluing. And this, uh, the the frost build that you're playing here with the major Ob and everything, has the most outvalue potential. So even though he looks like he's up a lot of HP here, it doesn't really matter. He puts the, pops the armor of valor. You clerical the armor of valor because uh, if you're clerical, you won't get silenced. And then we could instantly punish him with Qs afterwards. Hit the Resolation Pot. I uh, don't have to do too much here. He doesn't have Frost Nova. Interrupt one of his Qs and send the E to finish him off. You want to animation cancel with the Q and the E at the same time for maximum damage output. Uh, very good, very good. Now, Cloth Mace. Cloth Mace or... Uh, uh, this is a, almost a, like a one-shotty build. It's, it does a lot of damage. Right, you just gotta be, just gotta be consistent with your pressure. Anything with cultist robe, uh, basically is going to be not an advantageous matchup because, um, it has so much sustain. And as as a frost, you don't have a lot of sustain. Don't have a lot of sustain. And so that's you're just gonna try to run them down as soon as possible. You have frost over to blink the E and nothing else. Too crazy there. Uh, this is uh this is a very well known matchup here. You have the the uh, the claymore into the frost stave i'd say it's it's a very it's a very hard matchup to uh judge who's in favor here people would say the claymore is in favor but i mean people who play claymore usually don't have hands and uh this player definitely has hands so i mean just got to play a little a little more careful here you have a lot of answers the main thing is you what you have to save the frost nova again frost nova into him definitely an ambitious play for sure we're going to try to instant uh purge the uh, cleric, out, uh, cleric robe there. We could, um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's good. That's good stuff right there. I, right, again, we don't have the frost over there. We could, I mean, of course, full loot combat right there. I mean, you're not, you're not playing Albion unless you want full loot combat. And uh, now, oh yes, here it is, boys. The Tomb Hammer. Tomb Hammer again is one of uh, the most fun matchups of all time for any gamer. Uh, it does a casual seventy thousand million damage per second with uh, forty minutes of stun. This is pre-nerf too, by the way, so it's not that crazy. Uh, well, it actually is really crazy. Uh, again, all you're gonna want to do is just create the situations where you have a lot of space. 
right? This is a big space thing and a big trying to outvalue thing. As you see, our Qs do literally almost no damage, but uh, Baby Goo Goo says it's actually counter build. He's just going to throw the E wherever he goddamn wants. He has no idea what the hell he's playing with. Um, yeah, just uh, just pepper him down with the Qs to try to punish while his E's on cooldown. He uh, So we know his E's going to come back up. So we're going to come out of these Cleric Sandals and instantly blink. We did not see him cast it. We just knew he was going to cast it. And all you got to do is just count that 14 seconds. And that's going to be that's gonna be the dub there. Thank you. Chill Hell. Chill Hell, Chill Hell comes in a few different builds. Um, this one's going to look like uh, the old Sorceress build of the of the just die in your face. A Sorceress is really known for uh, not really being able to play. So, I mean, it's just going to be a, a quick casual match like that. Uh, we do have the Arcane Stave this time. Arcane Stave, if you didn't know, is... Uh, highly in favor of the arcane staff if you don't know how to play uh versus this build um if you try to create trade q for q's like i'm doing here you're gonna lose 55 percent of the time so that's not what we're, what we're gonna do here this is an old merc well they did get rid of that because why would you want any fun in your video game um again we're just gonna it's it's more of a situation of uh e e and uh chill e and chill e and chill e and chill is basically the only way you're gonna have any chance of winning and again, we're taking heavy damage there because uh, we played like an after me Neanderthal, right? We're going to have to dodge the frick out of this Q. Yeah, dodge that one real quick. It just does show off and... Uh, oh my god, the blink into the death. Well, I mean, it's well played. It's well played. I mean, easy win for... Uh, FTP is a good player. I, I do rank him in the top 10 player list, but... I mean, it, again, trading Q for Q with the Arcane Staff isn't that great. Light crossbow action. Again, we have another fan favorite here. Um... Uh, baby Goo Goo, as some people call him. Baby Quee Quee, as others call him. Nobody really knows. Um, again, all you got to do is kind of just run them down, especially when they miss all of their abilities and instantly purge themselves nine times. You just you just run them down. Just run them down like the degenerate they are. Nothing too crazy there. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Gotta call him that. Now we have the light crossbow. Ah, yes. Uh, he's playing Q. If they're playing Q1 light crossbow, obviously you're going uh, uh, Q3. I mean, almost always you're going Q3 anyway. He does uh, He does hit us with uh, the two Qs, and we are at half HP already, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's uh, snare him in the, in the like, uh, fart cloud. Nothing, nothing crazy there. Resolution pot to block the E is a must. He doesn't have anything else. Save the mage robe. For the demon boots because that's going to be his only win condition here. He might even pop them here. Not too sure. Uh, yeah, pepper him. Again, this guy's man's number one weakness is traps because uh, as a crossbow player, you kind of just turn off your brain because you have three brain cells to begin with. Uh, let's hit a fat guardian helm there to block out the E damage. Nothing too wrong. And again, we waste the mage robe because we're fucking adults, but uh, what does it matter? And, and we are going to die because we're doo-doo. But, I mean... If we, if we uh didn't um waste the mage rope, we would have won there. But you, you waste the mage rope, you're gonna die. Unfortunately, we got hit two times. So, uh, this is uh again another another case of HP stacking, and again HP stacking uh DPS charts. All you're gonna want to do is just try to just try to hit all your Qs. It's Q3 all day. Um, instantly purchase guardian armor and the three stacks of his uh, Q because everything has to pre-stack on blood letter or on, on the dagger tree. Um, again, nothing, nothing too crazy. All I got to do, want to do is make sure you don't get below that 40% threshold. So we're going to resolution pot early just in case. Uh, again, he's running around like a, like a dutz. Excuse me. All right. This is the warbow match. The warbow matchup is literally one of the hardest in the game for frost because they outrange you with everything. So again, the, the how you're going to win this is just dodging everything. Dodging everything is the only way you win. If you get hit, you're most probably going to lose. If you see there, we do take like, like 75% of one bar of health from one Q, right? So again, dodging is the name of the game. It doesn't matter if you hit them. It doesn't matter if they frost nova into you and then miss everything because they're literally bad. It, you just have to dodge everything. You just that's literally the only way you're gonna win. And dodge into the dodge into the him miss everything again. It's just about dodging. It's just about the, eventually you'll kill them if you dodge everything, right? So just just keep dodging. 
dodge 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 that's the way you're gonna win warbo and now if you're telling me oh i'm playing in 200 ping guess what you're not winning versus warbo that's just how it is if if you're if you are complaining and say you can't can't dodge this that's I'm, I'm sorry that's just how the this is how the matchup is complaint to sbi i don't know what to tell you again play padon is like warbo but on a 30 second cooldown that's actually 25 it's all about dodging you have to dodge if you don't dodge you're gonna lose uh clerical is actually less effective here because um badon e um lasts through the clerical and actually still takes you for a good chunk of damage so again it's all about dodging break that guy's ankles right there this guy's shooting to the freaking moon again it's all about dodging i do try to clerical there but uh i uh, i'm not sure i think my 30 ping was acting up there I, again get hit there not not too great we have dodged most of the stuff but again it's all about refinement and repetition 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 all you got to do is dodge yeah, I mean, there's nothing really more to say in this matchup. It's it's literally just you have to dodge. It's it is literally no simple answer to give. It's just you have to dodge. And if you don't dodge, you're gonna lose. Like like he did. He did not dodge my either, so he yeah he, uh, he loses. Um, let's see. It looks like we have another plate bow here. And again, it's let's just see if our dodges are correct. It's it's a again a super hard matchup. If you lose this matchup, it don't. If you lose versus bows as frost, do not. Do not think yourself bad. Do not think what did you do wrong. It is, it's near impossible. It's literally near impossible, and they, they have to have their monitor turn off to lose. That's that's essentially how bad it is. It's real rough. So again, we could also do like some cute tricks like Frost Nova in and instantly Clerical. That will, uh, that will make the person almost always throw a Q out. So you, you waste their Q, then you could punish with E. Do not Frost Nova E. That is never the answer. Literally never ever. Um, as they do that there. But I mean, at, uh, the fight was pretty much over at that point. But very good. Season 14 achieved. Now we have the mirror match. Five minute fight. Good God. Let's So let's talk. What do we need to do versus a mirror match? Again, it's all about creating situations of burning utilities, right? Burning utilities burning utilities that's that's how you're gonna win this it's simple cut so let's let's see what happens here see what happens here it's a simple cut all you gotta do is burn utilities um i will give you a tip whoever is running away on the frost staff is always at an advantage so some people will run away um i personally don't like to play like that because um well i'm better than them and you're better than them so i know you're not gonna run away too but um, here we go. Like again, Frost Nova into the into the Clerical to try to bait something. We match Clerical for Clerical. Instantly Resolution Pot. This is really good. Look, he wastes three abilities there. I wasted one. Right, so not bad. There's our Mage Robe. We still have Morgana Cape, and that's going to be the Morgana Cape. Again, completely outraded there. And um, we can't run him down, unfortunately, because we're on equal cooldowns. But um, again, just a really good take there. And we could uh, skip ahead just a little bit. We could go seek the video. So again, he's trying to hit us with the we have to walk into the queue. This is this is what I mean by uh, uh, the advantage for the person running away because you have two options. You have either walk into the enemy person's queue or you literally just get came on. And uh, we don't want to get came on, so there it was i i mean it was an idea for a major it wasn't a great one though because there's nothing really for me to major up there uh it doesn't really matter so he has major up there's the cleric into the cleric we're gonna instantly start spamming q first we get out of the cleric cal first so we could instantly start um stacking our passive um nothing nothing too crazy there we are going to uh opt for another reset And now again for the third engage, just just about outvaluing here, outvaluing. So we're going to have the first 
First little engage. We are not going to cleric out that time because I suspect he wasn't going to do the same thing. I think he was a little caught off guard there, so he didn't cleric out either. But he does burn the Frost Nova. Frost Nova, so that's good. As long as we're trading, trading is good. Take, take, into the take, take, take. You know how it is. We have two bats into the one bat. Nothing crazy. Uh, we get the Frost Nova. Do get the stun because he, he incorrectly played it a little bit. Look, he has Morgana Cape. We don't even need the Clerical anymore because the only thing we have to defend first is the Morgana Cape. He burns the Clerical. Now we're going to start spamming Q to bring up our passive. He hits the Resolution Pot. Uh, the correct move is Counter Resolution Pot, but I actually blink into a wall because I'm a Dutz. Uh, we're going to activate the Morgana Cape. He's going to miss all of his Qs. And if we hit into the Morgana, uh, the Mage Robe, he's actually an advantage, right? Because um, I don't have Morgana Cape and he has Mage Robe. So the correct move is just to try to dodge as much there. Nothing crazy. We still have Resolution Pot, so we basically win this. Um, he is nothing up at the current moment. And we have almost all of our cooldowns coming back except Morgana Cape. But he doesn't have Morgana Cape. So it's it's looking pretty good for us. looking pretty good for us uh, now now the bats are looking like a four bat to two bat situation in favor of Humpty Dumpty a good E there a good E with uh, he wasn't fast enough on the reaction he does miss the standing still E unfortunate for sure we're gonna we're gonna hit the Q and look we're already up so much in tempo there's almost nothing you could do there's another Q dropped on the head uh, we're gonna frost nova in he shouldn't have frost nova ups this is gonna actually have frost nova up because I, I don't know how to count correctly um, but again we're at, we're at such a big advantage here that it doesn't really matter we clerical in the trap because I mean we don't want to take free damage, right? That's that's fine that he hits us once. That just keeps him in combat, right? So yeah, Frost Nova, Frost Nova, sure, sure, sure. Uh, I think the correct move from him there would have been to Mage Robe because that would have stopped my run and, run and gave him time to reset. But um, he was still trying to fight this. There's the instant uh, purgy from me, the Resolution Pot into the no Resolution Pot, or into the Resolution Pot. And so now it's just Q spam and, and we basically win. There's nothing he can do too much to end it with the auto attack for a little swag points and there you go good fight there good fight there